We're going to go through three infield positions here for uh, youth outfielders. It's the same, out, same outfield position I'd go in with college guys because these guys can do this. We're going to go drop to a knee. That's kind of a safety method. And if you get agile at, at doing it, it's not a bad way to throw, even throw it, use to throw people out at the base. So they're going to charge in, break down, drop on the right knee if they're right-handed, left knee if you're left-handed. Try to get up as quick as you can and get the ball delivered back to the fungal man. Okay, here we go. You can get back a little bit further. Come in, break down, pick it up, come back up, balance, and throw it in. All right, next man, as soon as you get ready, come in, break down. Now, that what you want to do is charge real hard the first four or five steps, uh, Connor. I mean, you really bust out of there real fast and then break down. Break down, drop down on the right knee. Do that again, Connor, and drop on your right knee. Break down, now just drop it, atta baby. Now get so you really feel comfortable when you drop on your right knee, so you feel like you're balanced. Left knee, try it again, you drop on your left knee, left hander. Okay, left knee, go with the knee you throw with. Left hand, all right. Now, start when his hand goes back. And when the ball hits the ground, you break down. You're just trying to do it. Go, go, now break down. Drop on the other knee, let's go one more time. Drop on your left knee. So you're left-handed. Here we go. Drop on your left knee. Left knee. Okay. When I will come out, pull you out to the side. Come on. You go ahead. Go ahead. Now you practice right here on your knee. Just drop it on your left knee. Drop on your left knee. Put your hand down here. That's it. Like that. Good. Okay. Have you gone through it? Okay, the second way we're going to do it is drop almost to the knee. We call this a semi-knee position. This is a little bit faster getting the ball in. Now, I wouldn't go to this till we'd, we'd really perfected this other one. And to perfect the other one, do this every day for about a week. And then you, then you check them out. The coach would check them out, and he said, well, we're not ready with you, you, and you to do this. So those three of you would do it with a knee. Three of you moved up enough so you can do it with a semi-knee. And you work on that till you get it. Okay, we're going almost down to the knee. So we lower our base and feel the ball. All right, here we go. Almost down to the knee. That's it. That's good. That's good, Zach. Almost down to the knee. That's it. Now keep your feet a little bit wider apart so you have good balance. Down, almost down to the knee. You got to get down a little bit lower. Lower your base. Get down on that knee. Lower your base. Get down on your knee. That's good. Now you dropped to the right knee, didn't you? You got it to the left knee, I mean, the right one. The right, that's it, good, that was perfect. All right, let me see big Ryan here. This Ryan? Oh, yes, he knows what he's doing. All right, now we're going to go to the pro method, which I still think youth league guys can do if they're real good at doing the other one. Some of these guys can do stuff as well as anybody else. So now we're at least going to show them how to do this. Might not let them do it right away in the game. We're going to show them how to do it. This way you want to keep the ball on your left side. You have to drop down, lower your base, feel the ball, come back up on one more step, and throw the ball. That's the quickest way to get the ball home, but it's the quickest way to get the ball by you if you don't get your glove down. All right, here we go. Good. Good. Drop to left knee. You know, always get, always get on that one there. Your 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 uh, right knee for you would be out here. Your glove side knee would come down and bend. Okay. Now get on that side of the ball. Right side of the ball. That's it. Keep the keep the ball on this side on that play on this side of you. And you got to lower your base so you can feel it. Too too close in front of you. Get it off to the side a little bit. Okay. Those are the things now. If, if I were working with the college guys, they, some of them would look about like we've looked here. Some of them would look like they looked here, doing meaning really good. They, they can do this thing. So you'd work on it until they become proficient at it, and then you change to, uh, to the uh, ad advanced part of the drill. So you might have some guys just doing one part of it. That'd be on the knee all the time. And then, uh, then they get a little bit better, they can drop to a semi-knee method. They get a little bit better, they go to the pro method.